Hey guys, welcome back to the Project ALM video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Save Edit functionality of Project ALM. This will allow you to import truck parts, full trucks, trailer parts, and full trailers. So, to get started, I'm going to be showing the truck save edits first. Head into the game, get into the vehicle that you want to edit, and save your game. I'm going to be calling my save save edits, as it will be easy to find. Next, I'll tap out of the game. Now outside of the game, head into Discord. In my Discord server, head over to ALM download and download the latest version of Project ALM. Next, I'm going to look at the save edit I want to add to the game. So since I'm using Scania, I'm going to use the Scania hard lights here. So just going to download this. Now it is downloaded, I'm just going to extract this in the same place as my project ALM. Next, open up project ALM, head over to the save edit section, make sure you load your profile and select your save. As you can see it has already found my selected truck. As per the mod post, it tells me to use the import part section. So, click on import part, select the text file that you exported before. As we can see, it has imported the changes. Just click save changes. Now with this done, head back into game and load your save. Now back in game, as you can see, the hot lights are on my truck. The next save edit I'm going to show you is importing a full truck. So as I'm using Scania still, make sure you make your save in game while in a truck that you don't mind losing. So I'm just going to download this full truck set here. Once again, I'm just going to extract this in the same place as Project ALM. So I'm going to open up Project ALM again, head to save edit, and now, same process as before, make sure your profile and save is selected, and it's already put me in the correct truck. Go and hit import full truck, as this is what the mod post tells me to do. I'm going to click on the text file that I exported before. As you'll see, you'll get a warning. This will delete your current vehicle and replace it with the full custom one. So I'm going to hit yes. Then I'm going to hit save changes. Now I'm going to go back into game and I'm just going to load that save. Now back in game, we can see it has it successfully imported the full truck. For the next part of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to import a full trailer. This is the same as importing the full truck, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to show you anyways. So, first, head into game. Attach any trailer to your truck, or if you don't have one, just quickly purchase one. It doesn't matter what the trailer is. Just going to use this trailer here. Now that he's got an attached trailer, just make a new save. And I'll tab out the game. So, same things before. Download the mod. And once again, I'm just going to extract that to my desktop. Open up Project ALM. Head to Save Edit. And head to the Trailer Editor at the top here. So, with your profile selected and the save, make sure your trailer is also selected in here. Of course, if you've attached it to your truck, it will already be selected. 
and since we're importing a full trailer as the tip mentions click import full trailer select the txt file you extracted same as before you get a warning saying it will delete your clone trailer press yes and click save changes now go back into the game and load your save now back in game as you can see the trailer has been successfully loaded and it is the custom Scania one that I imported before. If you do have any problems make sure to take a look at the help yourself section there might be a fix in here waiting for you if not head to ask for help take a look at the post guidelines create a new post and provide information such as screenshots on the console in Project ALM so we can help you with your issue. With that being said, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.